Hey, 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 it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, don't worry, don't worry. Video's coming soon, it's gonna, it's gonna be good, it's good, it's good, but, but it takes a while to get started. So just like, so just give it a sec, okay? Give it a, like, you know, the greatness, the beauty starts around like 20 minutes. Around 20 minutes, that's where the incredible stuff happens. The first, everything, everything before that, it's all just set up, essentially. Set up and, and a little introduction so you understand the game better and what, what's actually happening. Anyway, so yeah, good stuff happens about 20 minutes in. Uh, so you can start there. That's when the main, big, fucking hilarious, amazing story happens. Um, so yeah, stick around. You can you can go through everything else, you know, and I'm not stopping you. Um, if you do, go ahead, go ahead. Um, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, yeah. That that's all good too. It's all good. Just if you're here, if you if you know the game, if you know everything, and you know, I mean, let's. See, I'm not trying to stop you from watching the the first bits, the first other stories. I'm just saying that the 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 whole title of this video is later on. It's about 21 minutes now because I've extended this about. So yeah, um, that's when it happens. It's really I re I just. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because that was so crazy. Anyway, I'm sounding too much YouTuber now. I'm sounding too stereotypical. Like, oh my, that was insane, yo. Um, shit, okay. Uh, uh, 21 minutes and 30 seconds. Around that around that ballpark, that's where you're going. That's where the start of the thing is. Okay, cool, cool. See you there, hopefully. Um, yeah, say hi to the kids for me. Three, two, one. So this is AI Dungeon. Um, not gonna lie. Straight up found this because of nerd cubed anyway um essentially it is a text-based dungeon thingy that's purely ai made controlled i don't know man it's like cleverbot like all that shit and it's and i love shit like this um so i've just i just started as a squire named lick and um <laughs> Things got interesting, so I figured I'd, I I was gonna just do like a little practice practice thing before actually recording or anything. Um, but then I was like, no, this is this is this is good. It's good. I gotta gotta keep this going. Anyway, so uh, let's let's get uh, this is the setup. This whole setup you can do like fantasy cl cl cluster punk, <laughs> um, cyberpunk and all that shit. Anyway, this is what I chose. I chose I chose the fantasy is recommended, so I did that. Then I. I think I tried to click not Squire, but I'm Squire. I don't know, man. Anyway, this feels weird to read. Because there's no, there's nothing. There's no, I need some something playing in my ears. I could just, wait, I could just, I could just, I could just, I could just mute the audio in the recording. What am I, because there's no audio in this. I'm going to get some of my own, some, some stuff so I can keep my speaky good. Anyway. You are lick. <laughs> Fuck. What voice am I doing for the? You, you. What's a good voice? I don't know. Fair. Fuck fantasy. You are. You are. You are. You are. You. Hmm. You are lick. A squire living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a spear and a pack of supplies. You follow Sir Theo as he enters the forest. He turns to you and says, "Lick, stay behind me and don't stray too far. I'll find you in a few hours if I need you." But why would you need a... But if I'm staying behind you, then... Why would you... Stay... But you're making it sound like you're leaving me. But you're telling me to stay behind... Anyway. Um... So everything with the little... Is that a greater... Less good... That's greater than. Little arrow, basically. <laughs> um... Is what I typed out. It's the thing. And the, you, can, you can go through different, like things you can change the story you can say you do something or you can just speak anyway so i so what i did was uh you follow sir theo's orders by staying behind him and usually and, and with your tongue constantly out ready to lick you know staying with the character anyway you stay behind theo who walks slowly forward through the dark trees you follow him closely not wanting to lose him in the darkness after a while you notice after a while after a while you notice a faint light up ahead you say, hey there, what's with that light, and can I lick it? <laughs> Theo replies, what, what voice should I give Theo? That's the tavern! We should be close enough to it by now. 
<laughs> it's a very fantasy esque voice. You continue walking towards the tavern, but Sir Theo suddenly stops. He begins to speak in a low voice. You say, "What? What is this? Some sort of summoning ritual? Rit- ritual?" Yeah, I was I was meant to write more there, but then I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> yes, Sir Theo nods. I'm not getting out of the statue. <laughs> Get out of it! So this is where shit got random and confusing and where these AI stuff usually just goes to hell. Anyway, so I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> so you continue. Tell me, what's the plan? <laughs> Wait, fuck, what's Theo's voice again? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was top, that's top secret. You frown. Fine, but can you, can you restraining him as much as possible? Didn't realize that. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> anyway, what the hell is happening? Where's the tavern? <laughs> Sir Theo yells, Shit, we're never going to get there now. Say, so why? <laughs> <laughs> this is. He, he goes, he goes, uh, I have no idea. It's like I could just summon things from the weird and they happen. <laughs> oh, well, whoop de doo away. Sir Theo appears to think really hard. It's the drink! It's making me do things! I don't know! He quickly looks around and makes you, and grabs you by the shirt. <laughs> anyway, so now here we are. Now I get to continue. I don't know what the fuck this AI is trying to do. Um, apparently there's a multiplayer thing for this, which is really curious to me. I really am curious to see what that is. Anyway, so, um, let's say... Say, wait. 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 The... Drink wasn't at the Aphrodite. Fuck. Aphrodisiac. Well, I spelled that wrong. Fucking. Fucking. Fucking Grammarly. It's probably better if we turn that off. Because I don't make a. I don't make. You know, things more interesting, probably. Anyway. So Theo nearly laughs. Almost. He almost laughs. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's a potion. <laughs> His voice has changed every time. I th- I'm going to try and keep with this one if I can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Well, what kind? I mean, a potion. There's many things a potion could be. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, wait. No. Ah. Uh, well, that's, just, that's the that's the way he says ah now apparently anyway. He thinks for a really long time. It's called a lion heart. His voice has changed again. And with that, he lets go of you and turns around in a circle. Why? <laughs> so sad uh, that. I'm, I'm just using this like it was clever. I'm, I'm just saying shit. Because what they just do? I mean, I don't know what's happening here. He stops and looks at you. Do you want to know why? Yes. Well, he pauses for dramatic effect. It's so hard to kill you that everyone will stop trying. Oh. So is that how it's gonna be? You want to kill me? So how is that? F- I can't. I'm talking too fast for me to type. Uh, you, you, you try to kill me. I thought we had something going. Go, go, going on, Theo. If that even is your real name. What? But I thought. Wait. Oh shit. There's more. Wait. Oh. So Theo has a look of disbelief on his face. What? But what? But but I thought uh, the, my voice is not coming. Yeah, well you were wrong. I'm not the enemy. What is the matter with you? What the fuck is? Can this end? I want to just start over. Listen, we've gotten it. I mean, I got an idea. I got an idea. Kill Theo. You kill Theo. <laughs> Sir Theo is in fact a cold-blooded murderer. He reaches for a sword. You grab his hand and twist it behind his back. You look into his eyes. Theo, Theo, Theo. I thought we had something. But... But you've gone and betrayed me. 
I mean, dude, bro, come on, man, come on, come on, here. we'll just type it normally, come on, man, like, bro, dude, seriously, I mean, man, dude, bro, Top bloke. Bro. Dude. Highest flim flam. Dude. Bro. Trusted you. Let's see if it remembers that I'm actually trying to kill him. You can see that he's trying to contain his anger. What are you don't worry, I'll get you out of this somehow. See, because I want to... I want to say something and then have an action following it. But I don't think I can do that. Because I want to be like, oh, no, 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 then you fucking stab him. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> Just fucking kill him. Kill here. Theo is a despicable human being that you have no more reason to associate with. He knows this, and yet he still struggles, struggles against you. A spit takes his head off and into the night. A spit takes his head... What? Did I just decapitate him with spit? Well, let's see what happens if I type the end. Because that's the end. The end. The AI doesn't know what to do. Ah, cool. I, f I figured out how to end it. Okay, so let's... Alright, so I, I've decided to, to just take out um, this next scene because I want to try and keep this video shorter because it's an hour and a half long recording and I don't want it to be that long. Um, plus, this story wasn't too great. Um, I, might, I might just upload it separately and list it and put a link in the description so you can check that if you want. But... We're just going to skip on to the next one, which is still also short, and then we're going to get into good meat, so fucking stick around, because it gets so much better. Like the final story we do, it's so good. It's so good. Anyway, um, yeah. Cool. I feel like there's more I should say. I'm, I'm dragging this on for too long now. That's no good, that's no good. Um, so yeah, just, we're doing that. We're going, going, to, we're cutting out, Port Gerald the Survivor, you don't need to know about him. We're gonna skip on. How do I do this good? Let's try Cyberpunk. Let's see what happens with that. Cyberpunk cop android. We're a punk! Um, what's a punky name? Is, is, I, feel like, I feel like Trent's a punky name. <laughs> no, no, no. Trentor! Yeah, they're Trentor. <laughs> like a tractor, but for Trent. Uh, you are Trenta. Oh great, there's a space behind my name. Uh, a punk living in the futuristic city of, of Zale. Zale? 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 You have a bag of drugs and a hollow bed. Well, that's no good. Why do I have those? I don't want those. Anyway, you wake up in a dark alley with bruises all over your body. You have no idea what happened. You stand up and see a hoverboard across the alley. Your Shen drives the, uh, the hoverboard away. What the fuck is my Shen? What the fuck is my Shen? Wait, no, what the fuck's my Shen? What the fuck's my Shen? The spiritual element of a person's... I'm sorry, we're doing cyberpunk, not fantasy. What? Why do I have... What? Well, that's odd. I always park my hoverboard at the supermarket. But... What? The f fuck? It's happening. Um, ask the surrounding civvies <laughs> if they've seen a overboard about yay. <laughs> I don't know how. What is, how is that? Like like yay. How do you spell that yay? It's not yay high. 
Will that be yay? Yay? Like that? Yay. 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 Okay, we figured out about about like it's like that. About yay high um in in the area. How's the AI doing? Not so great I'd say. Oh, what's this? You ask a nearby citizen and they tell you no. Then they move away from you. You consider the possibility that they that that you had an overdose. <laughs> You consider the obvious, you consider the overdose po a possibility. Yes or no question. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Wait. No, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. I want it to make sense. The possibility that I did have one. That you can't change whether I had one or not. That's not what's happening here. Anyway, you decide not to have drugs in your system when you find yourself at the supermarket at noon. <laughs> you weigh your options tr of trying to find the board again or looking for something else to eat. Um, well... Uh... Since you are a super... Super, super punk. You decide that you do not need as much sustenance. How do you spell sustenance? Not as sustenance as the typical low life being. Therefore, you decide to find the gracious a hoverboard. You leave the supermarket. You begin walking around the corridors of the night market. It is, after all, still broad daylight. You walk along. However, you bump into a group of teenagers. Hey, yo, what you teens up up to? What you teens up to? <laughs> you begin swearing and yelling at them. This was I was being innocent. Excuse me. This is, of course, not appreciated by the teenagers. A large, muscular boy. <laughs> I'm imagining, like, a small, like, like a child-sized. Like, three, four feet. I don't fucking know feet, man. I don't know. Just a kid. Just a young, a young, tiny, tiny boy <laughs> that's just really buff. Anyway, looks up to you and punches you in the face. You fall to the ground. They begin kicking you. I... I was being perfectly fine and innocent and 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 friendly and now they're um okay like a good citizen we 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 use the chip implanted in our brain to call the police you <laughs> I don't need to reach my pocket. I have a chip implanted in my brain. <laughs> you reach into your pocket and call the police. You're hacked again. The teenagers continue to kick you over on the floor. <laughs> you try to get up. Yeah, what's next? Apparently you can hit enter. Just keep it going. But what's this? I don't want to save my progress. <laughs> a large claw comes and picks you up. Soon you find yourself in a hover platform looking at the sky. This... This isn't real, you think to yourself. Um... Hey, teens! Are you still out there? Am I dreaming? Is this real? Your question is met with silence, but soon a rope is thrown to you. You catch it and ho ho hoist it up to the platform. When you look again, the thugs are gone! How did you... What? You were hit in the face by a but what? Why is everybody a douche here? <laughs> let's, let's ask that. Your question is met with laughter. One of the men says, "Indeed, this is a great strip. Nobody cares about you." You were dragged from the platform and thrown to the ground. What is happening to me? What's happening to Paul? Paul? What was his name? Trentel? <laughs> That's a dumb name. <sighs> Why won't somebody love me? 
you were beaten once more. Jesus, this is sad. After the beating, your body is dragged from the scene. Go on. I want to know what happens, but the AI doesn't know what to do. It, it, it broke itself. I didn't type it. I just wanted to... <laughs> Fine, 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 fine. Um, a sudden alarm starts bla blaring. Is it sort of, sort of what is that? How it's spelled? Bla, bla, blaring, blaring. Yes, yes, that is right. Um, I forget how to use Chrome effectively in full screen. It's the alarm for. The alarm that signifies the city's nuclear... Is that how the f... No, don't make me think that I don't know how to spell nuke nuke nuclear... Nuke... 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 It's just nuclear... Yeah, nuke... Nuke... Yeah. Yeah, it's just nuke... Yeah. Sigma's... The city's... The signifies that. The city's nuclear reactor is in is is in danger and about to go kaboomies. Ka kaboomies. What you can't do anything with a nuclear alarm? Alright, everyone dies. B big boom. Everyone everyone dies. Big boom. Okay, so it seems to know more about what to do with uh with fantasy. We'll go back to that. Let's uh, be a, a, a rogue that's going to uh, we're going to overthrow a kingdom and our name will be Qualaby. Qu 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 you are Qualaby, a rogue living in the city of King the city, the kingdom of Larian. You have a long steel dagger and length of rope. You walk down the city street looking for some somewhere to steal from. You look around to see several and see several shops you could break into. You are you are ding you are ding you are what what the shit is that? You are you are ding you are you are you are you are ding. That's not a word. That's not a word. What the shit is you are ding? What is happening? Everything's broken. You are ding down alley. That's wrong too. That should be an alley, thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, between two buildings you see a short man wearing a red robe with a couple of cultists walking behind him. Hmm. Hmm. Interested. Uh, this is stuff. This is more stuff for the story. Yeah. You ask the 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 red robe, the man in the red robe, what they are doing, and of course, <laughs> how much money they make, how much gold they they have on their person. This. Is of course a question out of pure what's the fucking word curiosity and definitely not being asked because you want to steal from them you are just purely innocently curious about their gold what the fuck's a Sabbath they tell you they're holding a Sabbath in the alley, and it's perfectly legal, as are all of their beliefs, for a holy day once a week. Or as all of their beliefs allow a hope for a holy day after a Okay, so the religious shit. Oh uh, yeah, the cultists. Anyway. Um, okay, okay. But how much gold you got? Scratch that. Where's your head? What would they call it? Where's your culty hangout area. Just asking that out of curiosity. I don't want to do anything there. You are a thief, so it's only natural that you ask how much gold they have. Yeah, of course. They tell you to follow them into the alley and they lead you into a, into a blacked out three-story building. Well, better make make a move here. Uh, no, pull out, pull out your, your steel dagger and get the jump on them before they can try anything. Stabbing them in their left thigh. You stab one, but before you can kill the second, what, there was more? 
A bright light blinds you and you are no longer in control of your own body. You wake up strapped to a table, which explains how you got here. <laughs> oh wow, the table explains. What a nice table. Ah, thanks table. Say thanks as the table responds by lowering you into a pain seat. A bunch of squawking and flapping occurs as the rest of your body begins to wake up. <laughs> am I a bird? Oh crap, I'm a bird, aren't I? Wait, am I a bird? <laughs> Next quest still enough to retire. I don't care. You ask the table, am I a bird? To which you get a lot of different responses. Some of them, a lot yes. Others, a little bit no. And some, not at all. Let's ask the important stuff. Is my penis a bird? I spelled that wrong. <laughs> You say, my bird, as you slowly look down to your private area. And... To your surprise, you bird. <laughs> you bird, there is a longer beak with three feathers. You are about to panic when you notice the room is full of different talking birds and you put two and two together. Two and two together for what? What's the two and two together? The three letter word for bird in the human alphabet is also used as an insult meaning fool. What? <laughs> a moment later, a moment later, a robbed man, a robed man, not a robbed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, getting ahead of myself. Oh, they hadn't been robbed yet. He <laughs> he. Uh, a robbed man walks in. What? What do you? What? What do? You, what do you want? What do you want? You non-bird. You demand to know what the masked man wants, and he ignores you. Uh, after about a minute, a minute of the road man ignoring you, and, and just staring at the table with his head down. Why are you acting like my disappointed father? <laughs> Why are you acting like my disappointed father? You take this in as a sign that the man is disappointed with you and feel somewhat shamed. No, I don't. <laughs> Even though you didn't do anything wrong. Really? You feel like you have let yourself down. Do I? Ah, oh, damn. Um, so how am I... How am I trapped to this spot? Because I'm a bird. I'm, am I Am I a bird? Wait, wait, wait. We need to set this in stone. We need to figure this out. I need, I need to figure something out. Uh, did we... Did we settle? Is my penis a bird? <laughs> is that... It looks like... It seems like it is. I think my penis is a bird. That's weird. You say, wait, wait, wait. I need to figure something out. For real. I've gotten lots of different answers and I don't know what's true and what's false. Am I a bird? You are a bird in a human's body. Wait, what the f... <laughs> okay. Is my penis a bird? Or at least something that is very long beak for, relative, for a relative of birds. Humans don't have long beaks though. What? What, what, or am I... Are you saying that the bird that I am that is inside the human's body has a long beak? Okay. Can I, like, get that... <laughs> Okay, control human's body that you are inside, that you, a bird with a long beak, are inside, and make it open, then slowly expose your long beak via the human's mouth in an attempt to threaten the surrounding people. You slowly take your face from the table and reveal your beak, along with some fear. Along with Sophia, okay. Uh, a large group of people staring at you freezes pretty immediately. As do you, as you were strapped into this chair. <laughs> Alright, well I still have a super long beak. Um, squawk.
You squawk. <laughs> you squawk louder than a pig and startle the crowd into acting. They run out of the room in panic, but not before tossing you several rings. Oh, that's so kind of them. Is, do one of the rings make me... Uh, to, to free me from the chair? Hmm. I could probably make one of the chair rings free me from the chair. I'm gonna do that. One of the rings appears glowing and then magically you are free from the chair. I think I did horrible writing there. Come on! You don't know what to do when I'm freed from the chair? Alright, fine, you know what? Mm. No, we have to... F okay. Wait, 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 wait. You say, wait, don't go, wait, don't go. Is my penis a bird? You begin to yell and scream for the people to stop, as they do. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. That's this guys. Look at my pants. Look at my look at my pants. Look at my pants. Look at look at my pants. At my pants. I can't type my pants. Does it look like there is a bird there? A bird where my penis would be. You put your <laughs> Oh! Oh, amazing! <laughs> you pull, you pull your pants down a little and show them that indeed you still have a human member. <laughs> the large group of people stare at you for a few moments before bursting into laughter. What? What's up? What's up? Why are you laughing? <laughs> uh, wait, no, we have to. Oh, phew. Hey, what's up? Why? Why are you laughing? He say, ah, oh, phew. Wait, what's up? Why are you laughing? You sit in silence. No, you sit in silence as you wait for the man's response. Yes. Eventually he gets up and starts walking towards you, and then towards the table you were strapped into. Tra strap? The table you were strapped into your chair on. Alright, what's he going to do? What are you, what are you, what, what are you, what, what are you, 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 what's going on here? What's going on here? No, I don't want to confuse it. I don't want to confuse it. What's he do? You know what, this one's been pretty good. This one's been pretty good. He then stops and approaches you with few a few other men with masks. Uh, what's with the masks, fellas? You ask the men in masks in a somewhat nervous tone. The men don't respond verbally, of course, but one of them grabs your arms from the chair and straps something onto you. Mind explaining what that is? You realize it's a straight jacket as you try to struggle. Did you. You applied a straight jacket to my arm? And then. <laughs> Wait, no, I read on. Wait, no, no, no! <laughs> Wait! Am I a bird with a human penis? <laughs> You realize it's a straitjacket as you try to struggle out of it, but given that you are a bird, you couldn't do much of anything anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's a lot of shouting wait here. Am I a bird with a human penis? Is that why you were all laughing? You yell and scream in fear. The crowd is now completely silent. Well, answer me! The men are still silent as they walk back to the table with you and strap you onto a table. How many tables do they have? You try to struggle as they strap down your wings, but there is little you can do. Is my penis human or not? <laughs> Two more robed men approach you, as you as, and strap something else onto your body, covering your entire face. You struggle some more, but become unable to move. Okay. 
I think we're gonna have to stop panicking. Stop panic. Try. Try to calm down. Not saying anything further and accepting that there may be nothing you can do to get out of the situation. I was, I was trying to be silent. Look, what the fuck? Stop putting words in my mouth. <laughs> you try to calm down, not saying anything further and accepting that there may be nothing that, 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 wait, did I say that wrong? That they, yes, I typed that wrong. That there may be nothing you can do to get out of the situation. Is this some sort of joke? You ask the crowd, but of course, get no answer. Answer me, is this a joke or something? I'm a human, aren't I? We've, we've discovered this. I'm a, not a human, I'm a bird. The question is in the penis. Is that human or not? God damn it. <sighs> stay silent. You stay silent. One of the men approaches you with a pen and paper, but before you can say anything, you start yelling, Stop! Why am I doing this? You start yelling profanities and insults at him. He grabs you by the throat and holds you in place. Hmm. What do I do? Stay silent. Don't say a word. Oh, I... I typed badly. The man continues to hold you by the throat as he takes notes. You struggle and squirm, but you just can't move. Ooh, oh, oh! <gasps> they gotta tell me? Alright, alright, stop struggling. You'll get your answer soon. That's the, that's the voice I get, I guess. Um, stop struggling and re- and, and we don't. And remain silent. Right, you're going, in the, you're going in the other room for a few hours until such time we can get this set up. Just relax, it'll be over soon. Hmm. Uh, relax and wait a few hours. They might strap you down to a table. Why are there so many tables? And cover your body with a sheet while you feel wind getting knocked out. The wind getting knocked out of you. Well, that's no good. Are they killing me? Is this what's happening? I'm a bird though. With a human penis? Wait, you didn't answer my question. You say, wait, you didn't answer my question. Is my penis human or not? I've never said penis this much in a day. Maybe not. <laughs> the man who had been looking at you earlier walks into the room and stops to glare at you. Were well, these a bunch of cultists at one point? Jesus Christ, this place is gone places. Well... He walks up to the sheet co to the sheet covered body and takes a pair of shears and cuts the sheet off you. <laughs> the genitalia is certainly human. It's just very small. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Okay. Whew. So just to be sure, I'm a bird with a human penis. <laughs> yeah? Correct, he replies. We have an answer! Yay! <laughs> of course it is, you say. <laughs> well, he's just checking. What? And No, don't put words in my mouth. This is good. I'm happy about this. Without another word, the, the man takes out a notepad and starts finding down notes. So what, what, so what, so I feel like we're at a calm, like, good, like, like, if we knew their first name, we'd be on a first name basis if we knew their first name. I, I could comfortably say their first name, but I don't know their first name, so I can't really do that. Um, so what notes are you taking? Is it about my penis? That's not what this is for. And what is it for? Yes, what is it? Continue. Well, it's sort of like a medical journey, but for the experiments. I'm Captain Andrea's assistant, and I'm writing down all the notes I make for her. Oh, right. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I, I've thought of it. I guess I have to write it now. Do they have some sort of bird fetish? No. I, just, I don't know what kind of people would do this. 
But I. Well, thanks for answering my questions. Thanks for that, by the way. Man continues to nod silently and walks out of the room. You just sigh and wait for a few more hours. Okay. Wait. Finally, the man comes back in. Now with a tray of with a few syringes, a scalpel, and what looks like a big drill. But um. So 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 so. so, so, so what? 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 What now? What's all this for? What, what's all this? What's all this? What's all this? Now uh, <laughs> oh, the AI, the AI doesn't know what's this. Okay, well you know, we, we gotta keep. We, you know, there's no, there hasn't been. What are you? What are you going to? What? 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 Um. 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 Come on, let's get started. <laughs> I don't know why I, that sentence made me think of that. The man says, You try to say something, anything to stop this, but one of the men positions a pistol to your head and your mouth shuts automatically. I'm questioning whether this is a fantasy. Apart from the bird. I'm a bird, so I guess that counts still. And your mouth shuts automatically. My beak, thank you very much. Shuts automatically. Uh, stay silent as your eyes... Dot from the man. Dot tween. No. From the man to the gun to the tray. Tray of, 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 of equipment. Tray and back. Wait. Wait, but aren't I a bird? I don't see any wings on you, the man says. As he holds up a syringe filled with a clear liquid. What's a water? You're just gonna just jab me with water? Do we speak in the face of the gun? I think we do. But I thought I was a bird. Not that I can tell. You're just a small adult. What? You've you've lied to me? You lied to me? I didn't lie. <laughs> I said your genitalia is human. Not that it's small. Yes, you said that it was small. You could be a giant man. He was a small wiener. <laughs> That's not what I mean. That is not what I mean. You, you said correct when I asked if I was a bird with a human penis. Sorry, I guess my head was in the clouds. I thought you were a bird for a second there. Oh, what casual. <sighs> the man shoves the syringe into your arm and presses down on the plunger. This is funny. <laughs> how, to, uh, uh, hmm. how to continue this? <laughs> you say, oh, so you just casually thought I was a bird? Yep. You're an idiot. <laughs> the man simply nods in response and walks off. <laughs> Uh, so what's this, um, uh, hmm, hey, wait, what's this liquid do? Wait, what did you put in me? The, oh, there's more of them. Am I, am I teleporting then? Because if I'm tied down, it must be teleporting. The men simply nod and continue to talk amongst themselves as you start to stagger around the room. But what? What's, what's happening to me? Am I turning into a bird with your human penis? <laughs> She'll be fu- Wait, this is a third man. This is a different man. You'll be fine. We injected a new drug into you to make your wings grow. The third man says, What was this, Captain Andrea? Is that the bit up that made this happen to me? Your eyes start around the room as you feel your body start to shake. <laughs> oh! Oh, so I, so, 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 I, so I'm turning into, I'm turning into a, into a bird with a human penis? Or am I, or am I becoming an angel? An angle? I don't know which one's more likely. Yeah, <laughs> you're just being silly. The third man responds. Wait, we gave him a different, point. Yeah, fuck it. What are you going to do now? We're going to write and show you the effect the drug has first. Yeah, great. You feel your body go limp as you fall into a trance. You do nothing to stop it, as you barely resist the urge to fly around the room. This is... This is this is interesting, not gonna lie. This is sort of engaging. Hmm... 
You struggle against the urge to fly around the room. You spend the next few hours... Okay, just a big time jump there. You spend the next few hours levitating and staring at the ceiling before you hear a shudder snap and the word, world becomes black. You drift off to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> what do you do? We dream about being a bird with a human penis. <laughs> You sit on a branch in a beautiful green valley. The birds around you all peacefully tweet and you happily join them in their music making. You look down to see a brown jacaranda leaf floating by. I don't know what that is. Um, eat the dream leaf. The leaf is actually a gigantic purple beetle. You sit there bug in mouth for some time when you notice the sun is going down. You fly off so to find somewhere to sleep for the night. Ah. Hmm. Spot a... Nice. Well, this is a dream, so we should make this really weird. A nice double bed in an open grass field. Faint. Yes, faint. Field. And decide to lay rest there. Drift off to sleep. You climb onto the bed and curl up into a ball. You watch the moon while your eyes drift shut. You wake up in the morning and look around. Okay, is this like real wake up? Are we like in the real world? Are we out of the dream now? Let's ask, let's ask. Are we out of the dream now? Are we out of the dream now? I'm scared that dreaming ruined everything. No one is around and there's no sign of last night's party. Well, that's, I guess that's one way to put it. You hop out of bed, check yourself over, and head to out to explore. Yeah, everything's fucked. Wait. I'm just gonna talk to myself. Wait, so was the whole man, wing, and bird penis the thing a dream? <laughs> you walk outside of your tent and bolt. You turn to look at the tent, but it's already gone. Uh, run faster. You run faster, you run as fast as you can, trying to find whoever was there. You try to look behind the trees and over the rocks, but there's no one to be found. Hmm. Let's think, let's think. How do we find this person? How do we find this person? You think they'd be underground? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe if I take off my pants. Take off pants. <laughs> Notice your back is covered in scars. Oh boy, running your hand along it, you feel heal, you feel healed over bullet. You feel, he, I feel like there's there's, there's something missing there. You feel over bullet wound. Huh. Ah, I okay. get. Yeah, there's supposed to be a there. I think a healed over. Anyway, what? What's I? So, the fuck shot me. You realize what you're in the middle of. You're at some sort of party! <laughs> you run up to a group of people and ask them if they were the ones who shot you. And where the hell is everyone? Yeah, well, what's their response? As you arrive at your campsite, it dawns on you that this was all a dream. You notice a man sitting on your chair and looking around in confusion. I was just here, he shouts. Okay. So are we in the real world now? Wait, wait, wait. So, so are we in the real world now? Back in the chair with the man? Back. I wonder what happened if you tried to break the fourth wall here. The man turns around while still sitting on the chair. He passes out but soon steps out of it. He's covered in blood and missing several fingers. What the fuck? Your eyes widen as you realize what happened. You shot that man? What? Why did they do that? He's a friend of mine! <laughs> you sit down in shock as the man collapses on top of you. Now, I'm some sort of weird. What is happening? What the fuck is happening here? I don't know. It's weird. I think it's sort of gone crazy now. I think everything's breaking. Well. Um. So. So. What are you. Are you sure I shot you? I mean, it could have been someone else. No, it's who's asking this? <laughs> no, it's definitely you. We found a shell next to you when we found you. That's d 
Jeff, that's when reality kicks in. How many times does reality need to kick in? You look down and notice that you have blood on your shirt. What? Well, that still doesn't prove anything. Someone could have shot them with me being next, with being next, what went whilst being next to me. We don't believe that. Besides, it was a direct shot in the throat. <laughs> There's no other bullet holes in your body where a gun could have been held. <laughs> you know it's true, though. <laughs> ah, well, I... <laughs> ah, well, I know it's true, though. <laughs> the man just nods and looks down. I'm sorry for the hell this is going to cause you. However, I need you to tell me what else was at this camera with you. You feel faint. Um... Hmm, okay. Fighting against the... Fighting against the temptation... To pass out... You try... To explain... Try to tell... Um, about the man, the wings, the bird penis, and Captain. Was it, what's that? Was that? I think it was spelled like that. Captain Andreas. Captain Andrea, not Andreas. The man takes down your story as best he can. And he says you'll look into it. He says that Captain. Yep. Andrea is the head of security for some wealthy families, and he will need you to hit. He'll need you to come in and make a full statement at the office as soon as possible. You agree and say your goodbyes. Where are we? Let's ask. <laughs> You're in Australia, up Northbridge. What's happening? We're heading to your the, over to, to the local police station now. <laughs> you look out the window and see a huge, a huge Ben at work sign. So we're in Australia now. Wait, more waiting. What year is it? The man looks at you uh, as if you're crazy. Yeah, boy, are you mental. It's 2015. And what the hell are you on about? Oh shit, we're gonna break the fourth wall a bit. Shit. I thought this was supposed to be a fantasy world. Wait, are we still the punk? <laughs> are we drugs? Uh, are we the punk? Are we Trent? Are we Trenter? What's our name? Was I wasn't our name Polobi or something? I'm going crazy. <laughs> ah shit! I thought this was supposed to be a fantasy world. This world? No, the world as a whole. Okay, you came here in 2015. Your heart sinks as you try to process this. What? How? No, 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 I... But... The bird... The bird... The, the bird... I'm going crazy. The bird... The penis... The man, the syringe, the tables, the chair, what the hell? Is this, is this, what's that? I'm lost. I don't understand. No, but I, but the the birds, the the birds, the penis, the the man, the syringe, the tablets, the the tablets, the tablets, the tables, the chair. What the hell it. it is, is this, what's that? What? I, I'm lost. I don't understand. <laughs> you're drunk. No, no, you're high. No, no. Do you even know what I'm asking you? Asking? What the hell happened to me? Yes, I, I mean no. No, I mean yes. <laughs> yes, I, 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 
to. I do know. Listen. No, we'll, we'll, I, I, want, I want to ask them if they know my name. Then answer the question. I, I don't know. Man bursts up laughing as you feel incredibly stupid. You cover your face and mumble that you must be going home. No, no, no. No. Bad. You know what? No. Oh, interesting. You can do that. I, uh, interesting. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna say, listen, listen. listen. What's my name? It's Mason. What? What? What's my, my name? Your name's Ken. What? Your name's Ken. What? But uh, what about? Are you sure? Uh, are you sure? Are you sure it's not? It's not Quil Quil Quilobi? Or or Trenton? Your name is Ken. What? Your name is Ken. What? Your name is Ken. What? Your name is Ken. <laughs> no, it can't be. Oh my god, what's happening? No! No, 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 no! How many noise was that? No, 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 no. The AI doesn't know what to say. And I don't know either. That, that was a complete journey. I didn't expect to get something that good out of this. Like... We went crazy. My name is Ken, it's 2015, we're in Australia, I don't get it. Quallaby, my name was Quallaby, not Quillaby. <laughs> what a story. Um, yeah. If this is well received, I mean, I might be down to do more of this. Because that was actually very interesting. So let me know, let me know. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember the buns. Remember the buttons. You know what the buttons do. Remember the buttons. Press the buttons if you want to press the buttons. Buttons are useful. They help me. Press the buttons if you like. I'm not gonna just if you want. They're there. The buttons are there. You could touch them a little bit. They won't mind. They won't mind. The buttons are nice. The buttons are nice. They will let. They'll, they'll let you touch them. They're very accepting. They're fine. They're fine with that. They're comfortable with your touches. I'm sure. I'm sure. So, um, yeah, touch the buttons if you want to touch the buttons. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I had a fucking adventure. That was, that was weird. That was crazy. Like, cause it went... Like, it didn't make fucking sense. <laughs> cause the AI was just going off random, going crazy. But... It, it sort of worked. Because the AI was that. Cause it made it... That's... Wow! I don't know if I'm gonna use any of the earlier stories. I think I'm gonna have to use Trenton's. Cause I just mentioned Trenton. Um... That one was weird too. Hey, we had the zombie one. Oh, yeah, so important. I might just upload those like raw as raw parts and just... Put them in as an unlisted thing in the description. So, if you want to see some other stories that I did before this that sort of sucked, <laughs> um, then you can check the description. They might be there. If it's not, it's not. If it is, it is. Um, it'll be an enlisted video with all my other attempts. Not that many. But, yeah. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll catch you later.